How's it, folks? It's the wildcard knockout round of 32 exhibition match that sees Keegan Buchanan in action against uh, Ziggy. A Ziggy, who's been very convincing as far as the group stages were concerned, winning all his matches and uh, qualifying through the group at the top of the group with uh, 20 points. So can he bring that form into this encounter? We're about to find out as uh, these two players go at it. As you know, uh, the round of 32 features celebrities and sportsmen, uh, all the cool people who play FIFA up against the people who know FIFA inside out. And that is, of course, uh, gamers such as Ziggy. This encounter here sees Barcelona under the control of uh, Keegan Buchanan up against uh, a Liverpool side that uh, Ziggy will be using. And um, what we're seeing almost that tiki-taka style of football from Liverpool against the side that have made that style of football well known. Ziggy kind of playing those short passes to good effect as he finds Oxlade Chamberlain who finds Vinaldum Salah now on the ball. Tons of space and time to ponder his next move and that's to find Vinaldum who finds Fabinho. Salah's got the ball now and a good clearing there from Langley in the defense of Barcelona and now Sergio Busquets plays it out. Um, finds Artur, Sergei Roberto, PK, all household names, trying to uh, retain the ball as much as they can and maybe build up to a goal to get things going. Good spell of possession here from the men in blue, Barcelona. It's the GOAT, Messi with the ball. What's he going to do? He's got time and space to dispatch the shot. He does, but it goes wide, and Allison has nothing to worry about on that occasion. As the ball now that he's played out went back into the possession of Barcelona until Fabinho came along to tidy things up. Salah now on the ball. He finds Sadio Mane. No pressure from the men in blue. As Salah and Mane are allowed to build up, they do. And he goes for goal. Mohamed Salah, but a good save there from Mark Andre to Stegen. Set piece. He can't save that one. The German goalkeeper as Sadio Mane opens the scoring for Liverpool. 1 0 the scoreline. And uh, we're off the mark with Ziggy. And uh, a good start for him. Can Barcelona find a foothold in this game? They showed glimpses of being able to hold on to the ball, but of course it's not enough. Have to find a way to put the ball into the back of the net. Good pressure here from the front line of uh, Liverpool to keep the ball in Barcelona's half. Artur forced to play back to PK. Now, De Jong, will he spring something? They look to move the ball forward with uh, Sergio Roberto just giving the possession away so easily and a good run there from Sadio Mane. Does he get through for a second goal? And it's not, it's uh, offside in that moment. It was very close. Almost uh, a second goal there for Liverpool. But just uh, running ahead of the line was Mane. Griezmann finds Messi, but Fabinho tracking back to sweep things up. And now it's Liverpool. Fabinho's on the ball. He finds Oxley chamberlain who was looking to return the ball to him. Instead, De Jong made the interception, but the brick wall at the back. Hard enough trying to get past Fabinho. Now you've got Virgil van Dijk to worry about. Wijnaldum finds Minamino. The one-two is played. Salah now looks for Wijnaldum who with a cheeky back heel almost found Mohamed Salah again. That would have been a nice move, but uh, well read there by the defense of Barcelona. Can they try again now? Salah has got the ball and oh! Gerard Piquet giving away the penalty. And uh, Barcelona might be creating a bit of an uphill battle for themselves and they have because now it is two goals to the good for Ziggy and his Liverpool side. What a strong start he's made in this first 45 minutes.
and it's uh, been a dominant performance, but essentially Barcelona just giving them way too much time, Liverpool, to play. And then getting punished, can and will they be punished again here? Almost a chance, but offside, and Ter Stegen made the save. So Barcelona have a chance here to regroup. They'll want to keep it a two-goal deficit into half-time and maybe, if possible, chip away at it by scoring a goal. But they've not shown any hardcore intent so far. I don't know if uh, Alisson has been tested. I don't think he has. You know, he's pretty much been a bystander in this game. And as you see there, the possession stats showing the dominance uh, that Liverpool have exerted. 54 compared to the 46. Can we have another goal here? We don't get one, but it was very close. Good save there to Stegen, blocking it with his body. Now Chamberlain trying to find the man at the top of the 18-yard box. He'll have another opportunity to find a teammate. This time he finds Mane, who finds Salah. Who's going to be there as they try to play the 1-2? Langley is not having it. Says no way. Not a third goal in the first 45 minutes. Can they find one to half the deficit? And they won't get the chance to. Keegan is exasperated there by the referee blowing. Whilst it looked like there might have been the chance of a counter-attack there, but wasn't to be. 2-0 the scoreline at half-time. Barcelona with all to do, with it all to do now in the second half. Remember, there will be another leg after this one between these uh, two competitors. And a bit of background on the man who's in charge of uh, the Liverpool team in Ziggy. I uh, got to chat with him before this encounter. And he's a man who's played for the likes of 5050 Esports and uh, Mythic Gaming before they disbanded and now calls uh, Sinister 5 his home. You can find them at Sinister 5 underscore SA and he's available at Ziggy C three underscores as he has a chance here through money and he finds the back of the net for the third goal liverpool totally dominant a good start to the second half picking up essentially where they left off before the half time break messi and company have it all to do now as griezmann is on the ball finds artur dembele artur again who finds messi but uh, good pressure there from Robertson. Dispossesses him. Now Mane. Time and space are plenty to have uh, his teammates join him. Fabinho now replacing Mane as he makes the run up the field. Fabinho finds Mane now. What's he going to do? Too much time, too much space, not enough pressure from the defense of Barcelona as they literally get a chance to walk the ball through. The last third, and uh, not on this occasion, though, but three goals to the good already, Liverpool. And I guess you could say this is uh, the sternest test that Ziggy has had so far. I mean, this is a guy who was scoring 16 goals for fun in certain games in the group stages. So he's got plenty as far as goals are concerned. And uh, I guess Keegan Buchanan can be happy that he's kept him to only three so far. Will there be time for more goals? And... From which of these two will those goals come from? As we see here, Sadio Mane interrupted by Langley. We tried to get the ball out the back, but uh, his teammates not helping. Salah with the fancy footwork. He finds the wrong player in that situation in Fabinho. He can't make the most of that guilt edge opportunity. Would have been the simplest of headers there. And finishes but just not been able to to get that third that fourth goal rather safe, liverpool safe. three goals to the good already barcelona pressure getting to them as you saw there with a pass into touch now liverpool have the ball money still has the ball does he have an opportunity to get another goal for liverpool no and not convincing as far as the defending is concerned as we see there some Barcelona players just chilling, you know, hanging out, watching the game. <laughs> As it looks like they've conceded another penalty. This time, Ter Stegen 
being a bit overzealous in his box. Will he be punished? No, not on that occasion. And uh, Salah only getting the ball against the post. The bar there, not able to get into the back of the net. That would have been curtains, surely. But they'll have a chance again. It's Mane on the ball. He finds Fabinho. Mane once again. He found Wijnaldum, who couldn't make the most of that one. Good save from uh, Testegen. Just to uh, rush the man, force him into a decision. And one that didn't uh, prove fruitful for Liverpool. Shots on target, 7-1. to one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I reckon that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Fabinho now. Looks for Mane. Mane, he's safe, he's through. Rouse the keeper, and there you have it, the fourth goal for Liverpool against Barcelona. Well dispatched there from Mane. Kept his calm, kept his cool, rounded the keeper. And uh, the fourth goal from Liverpool is in the back of the net with about 10 minutes to go in the game. Can Barcelona add some respectability to the scoreline? They'll have to get the ball from Liverpool to do that. They've got it now. Artur found, finds De Jong. Can Lionel Messi take this game by the scruff of the neck? Virgil van Dijk has other plans. Messi once again. Circulating the ball well enough. But they need some end product to Barcelona. Pique. Far up the field, trying to help Virgil van Dijk in a more recognizable position in the box, tidying up. Messi, good possession from him. Robertson puts him off enough to allow Liverpool to regroup. Time definitely on, not on the side of Barcelona. Mane finds Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's not on side. Had a sneaking suspicion that he had just uh, made his run a little too early in that moment. And uh, the referee, the linesman, also confirming that. In the dying embers of the game, and it is Liverpool showing their dominance. 4-0 to Liverpool in this first encounter between the two teams. And what a game there. Mane, most certainly the man of the match, uh, getting on the score sheet. On a few occasions, as the two gents get ready for their second encounter, will there be a change in tactics? Will there be a change in teams? We're about to find out. Okay, so here we are, getting ready for the second encounter between these two teams. And uh, Ziggy doing well to get off to a very, very convincing start. Uh, we're about to find out if um, Keegan was going to make any changes to his team. I guess uh, for Ziggy, the case will be just to stick with the Liverpool team that's done so well for him. On the side of um, Keegan Buchanan. He swapped things around a little bit, going instead now for Man City. Can they reverse his fortunes? As uh, Ziggy already has a victory under his belt in this uh, affair between the two guys in the last 32. Our wild card round. If you're joining us only for the second match, just a reminder that uh, Ziggy won that one 4-0 and, and scored almost from a similar position, right? You're seeing Mane there with a chance to perhaps open the scoring just as it goes five minutes in the game and um, couldn't do it on this occasion as Liverpool try again now Fabinho looking for Mane who seemed to be taken off his feet there but the referee sees nothing wrong it's Man City with the ball Leroy Sané looking for Aguero he finds him 
They play the one-two. Can Bernardo Silva do something? He tries to test Allison, but uh, straightforward save for the Brazilian keeper, who finds Vinaldum. Minamino's got the ball. He finds Mohamed Salah, but carries on with his run. That run was a deceptive one because instead it is Mane, who also made one similar. And uh, that's who Salah found, but Mane couldn't find the back of the net in that instance. Now Leroy Sané's got the ball. He's dispossessed by Robertson, who finds uh, Chamberlain. Fast passes here on the side of Ziggy, who uh, plays with the fast-paced attacking tactic, and it shows very quick to get to the opposition's final third. And uh, not going to be able to make anything out of that one. Too much movement and a high line played well by the defense of Man City means that was an offside. They'll have a chance to regroup Keegan and his men. Can they find a goal to turn this two-legged affair on its head? Certainly looking more threatening. Kun Aguero there just not in the correct position to make the most of that ball. Two bites at the cherry and uh, not very menacing with either as Virgil van Dijk plays the ball out the back. Mino Mino's got the ball now. He finds Mohamed Salah who looks for the one-two but Laporte uh, doing well there to stifle the attack of Liverpool. Kun Aguero now. He has the ball, he finds Bernardo Silva, who finds Aguero again, well cut in, looking to go for that far post, and uh, Virgil van Dijk blocking as only Virgil van Dijk can do, the man mountain, making sure that that ball doesn't uh, affect or test Allison. and neither does that one as it's played out again, Silva has a chance to cross it back in, only as far as Gomez, who looks to... Uh, Headed on into the path of Laporte. He's the man who latches on to that one, but with a defender's finish from the French defender. Alexander Arnold now finds Minamino. Vinaldum looks to find uh, his teammates, but well intercepted by Man City. Will have a chance to break as they switch sides. Switch sides brilliantly as it's Leroy Sané. He plays a lot across and it's Raheem Sterling who latches onto it for the opening goal of this encounter. Keegan Buchanan is off the mark and he gets an opening goal against Liverpool and Ziggy on the half hour mark. Things are interesting now. Ziggy, I'm sure, not used to conceding that many goals. But when he does, he tends to outscore his opponent. Will that be the case once again? Salah latches onto that one, but surely that had to be. Yep, an offside? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. So there you go. 1 1. And uh, I thought that was offside, but a well played run there from Mohamed Salah to get in. And uh, so does the ball into the back of the net. Raheem Sterling, can he provide a good cross? Asane did just a moment ago. He can't. Instead, Allison comes out and easily catches that one. Rodri now on the ball. Bernardo Silva looking for Kun Aguero, who uh, is off balance there. As Liverpool put enough pressure to unsettle that uh, attacking line of Man City. And it's Gomez now playing the ball out the back for Vinaldum. Gomez. Finding the likes of Salah and Minamino. He's dispossessed by Sterling. And Fabinho there just uh, skipping past that tackle to tidy up. Vinaldum has the ball, finds Mane. Will Mane fashion a chance? He can't because Fernandinho is on the case and shuts it down. De Bruyne now finds Silva. The other Silva as. Uh, Bernardo Silva finds Sane. Well marshaled on the flank there, but De Bruyne comes to help him out. And this is good possession from Man City. Can they make something happen here before the half-time whistle? They're trying to. 
Ah, maybe not the right decision in that moment. And uh, Liverpool able to tidy up. And it is only 1-1 at half time. Ziggy making sure to equalize very quickly there. As we see Man City with more chances on goal. We look about we look at Kuneguero. He was definitely in a good position to make the most of two chances. Let's say one. You know, that would be them in the lead at the moment. But uh, it's currently tied at 1-1. Ziggy coming back into this one late in the first half. Already the custodian of a 4-0 victory over Keegan Buchanan. Buchanan using uh, Barcelona in that encounter. Switch things up to Man City in this one and it's already paid off. He's at least scored a goal now, which is good. And he's probably getting used to the way that Ziggy plays. Um, not exerting as much dominance over him in this encounter is Ziggy. But when he had Barcelona, there was a point where the Barcelona players were just watching the game, enjoying the spectacle. Um, his Man City side had put a bit more pressure on Liverpool as uh, that free kick there ends in a corner. Alisson pushing it out of play. Now, can De Bruyne make something happen with the corner, having not been able to with that uh, free kick? He doesn't, but they'll have another chance. Will Man City? It's Alisson who has to show his pedigree. And he's doing well so far, the Brazilian keeper. Robertson now has the field, all of that space, and instead he runs it out. Strange one. We'll give a chance to Man City to regroup. Kunaguero finds De Bruyne. He goes for a shot. And uh, he can't test Alisson there. Might have been better if uh, Aguero held on to it himself and gone for something. Alexander-Arnold now on the ball. Vinaldum. Gomez. Will Liverpool find a goal to turn this tie on its head? Mohamed Salah's got the ball. Great feet work, footwork. <laughs> and uh, not been able to capitalize on it was Mane after getting a good pass in the box, just not able to fashion enough space uh, to get a more accurate opportunity and almost punished uh, Man City trying to play the ball out the back, but Salah and that volley, half volley, not being able just to get more of uh, accurate direction on that ball. Beautiful ball there from Aguero to find Sané. He finds De Bruyne. But uh, Virgil van Dijk on the scene to make sure that that doesn't go any further. It doesn't. Instead, Wijnaldum now with the ball. Finds Salah. Wijnaldum again. Is he going to go for it? He's looking for Salah. Salah bit off balance and uh, not able there to get things done it was an offside anyway so Man City will have a chance here Liverpool are back in possession it's too easy it's too easy you don't want to give a player like Ziggy the ball the best strategy is to keep the ball away from him and uh, that tackle there not gonna help the cause as we have an opportunity here for Trent Alexander-Arnold to try bend one in to the corner. As he stands over it, he goes for the free kick. And pretty much an easy save there for Edison. He's looking for someone to send the ball to. And instead, that pressure from Liverpool starting to tell as they're now in possession. Vinaldum finds Mane. Salah was making the run, but Mane will go for it himself, and Edison makes a good save. Corner for Liverpool. Alexander Arnold feeds it into the box. Does he get a second chance at it? He does. He's got the ball. He's going to cross it in again. This time he finds what looked like uh, Mane. But uh, it's Man City now with a chance to counter-attack. Aguero on the ball. Finds Kyle Walker. Good run by Sane. And a good pass from Walker. Sane. Dispossessed by who? Yep, you guessed right. Virgil van Dijk. 
the imperious defender there as uh, Chamberlain now on the ball. Mane. Will he find Salah? They've been combining to devastating effects so far for Ziggy. He's used them over the both uh, legs of his encounter with Keegan Buchanan in the first game, 1-4-0. This one's currently tied at one all. Vinaldum finds Salah, but good there. Anticipation from Fernandinho, but they're not clearing their lines. Playing a dangerous game at the back here. Minamino finds Salah. He finds Vinaldum. He has an opportunity. It's wide open for him and he takes it to find the second goal for Liverpool in the 84th minute. And uh, the tie has now truly been turned on its head by Ziggy. He's found himself a leading goal. Will it be a winning goal? Not much time to find out. So we'll know pretty soon. Salah has another opportunity, rounds the keeper, and yes, he's on the score sheet yet again. Another late goal to make it 3-1 to Liverpool. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you come back into a game and then grab it by the scruff of its neck and win it. Ziggy being very convincing. Once again, Virgil van Dijk doing what he does best as they try to maybe sneak another one here. Played into space, Salah latches onto it. He's got the ball and he's got the goal. And game set and match, surely. 4-1 to Liverpool. Clean sheet in the first game at 4-0 and it's looking like 4-1 here. Keegan Buchanan at least getting one past Ziggy, but Ziggy through to the next round and what a convincing display at the end of the day. Uh, wow, I guess we have to look at it collectively. 8-1 over two legs. That is a convincing result, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how you look at it. Congrats to Ziggy, hard luck Keegan. My name's Kamzambata, I hope you've enjoyed that. The Toyota Esports Challenge encounter, Wild 32, that's where we are as we move forward to finding out who is the number one FIFA 20 player in the nation.